So this is just the GOAT now, huh? I've literally used three different iterations of Super Bowl MVP Patrick Mahomes in my career of making Madden videos. That's insane. And, and there's and there's actually nothing we can do to stop him. Like, he, when they took away Tyree Kill, people really thought that he was going to get exposed for being a yak merchant. Then he wins the Super Bowl against the Eagles with a bunch of bums. Then he has even worse, more homeless bums the next year. And they still wins the Super Bowl. And he beat that hot Bills team. He beat that Ravens team that was smacking everybody around and then he beats the 49ers on a game winning overtime drive. I'm the last guy to glaze Patrick Mahomes, but I literally have no choice but to glaze Patrick Mahomes. He really is the next GOAT. You know what's crazy? This reminds me so much of the LeBron James, Michael Jordan debate. Because like, let's be honest. Michael Jordan was the GOAT and then LeBron came into the league. He started playing so well that people wanted to put him in the debate. Now the old heads will never admit that LeBron the GOAT. And the newer viewers to the NBA will never admit that Michael Jordan's the GOAT. Patrick Mahomes is currently not on Tom Brady's level, but he definitely is the closest person and he definitely has a chance to be. Yeah, I know this is Wheel of Mutt, but I figured we had to talk about that. Gold 99 Patrick Mahomes. Insane card. I don't, I, listen, it's not like I'm saying I even necessarily want him on this team. I just figured we had to talk about that. Our team is pretty nasty in its own right. We've got CJ Stroud, Dre Archer, our limited prestige Jamar Chase, limited Zay flowers. Just hope he doesn't fumble. And then we got C.D. Lamb, our captain for the Cowboys. And we have our healthy scratch, Kadarius Tony. We got Trent Williams, Russ Grimm, John Runyon. Honestly, a really solid old line. We just need a center. And then our prestige Gronk. We got Vernon Davis at the back of it. It's a nasty offense. Defensively, got Christian Harris, one of my like favorite cards in this game now. Malik Hooker, Derwin James, still looking to get a Derwin James prestige. Jesse Bates, Jalen Ramsey, Devin Hester, Nick Bosa, an ugly right side of the D-line. Darius Slay. Prime time. And fine, let's talk about this. Let's talk about Jalen Carter. Yeah, I'm sure you guys saw. I got tagged about a million times. Defensive rookie of the year. You know why it's extra depressing? Because Will Anderson was also on that same lineup. I had I had the toss-up between Will Anderson and Jalen Carter, and I took Jalen Carter. I'll be honest, I was just going based off the Vegas odds. Jalen Carter was like minus 170, and Will Anderson was like plus 130. So it was definitely close, but Jalen Carter Carter had the edge, so I took Jalen Carter. Now, this season has been full of insane surprises when it comes to players, though. Like Jamar Chase getting his limited, Bronk getting his middle linebacker and tight end, Nick Bosa getting the playoff limited, so yeah, this is definitely a bummer because Will Anderson just got an insane, like, 97 overall limited, but you live and you learn, I guess. The amazing thing today, though, is the Super Bowl in real life is over, so the season's over, but the Wheel of Mutt playoffs are starting today. Last episode, we were 4-2. and two. We we clinched the game really close games down the stretch in Wheel of Mutt recently, which is awesome. But we did clutch up, caught the W, and that leads us to our very first game of the playoffs. This would be the wild card round. Oh no, man, it's Cowboys season and this is the wild card playoffs. Does that mean I'm gonna choke like a fucking fraud? All right, boys, let's get our first of only two wheel spins. Remember, it's the playoffs. So I got two wheel spins, but these are juiced. So I should get something amazing, and we absolutely do. We're gonna get an offensive jackpot. All right, so any single offensive player, but they must be from this playoff team. No, please not Pittsburgh. Please not Pittsburgh, let it be Dallas. Cause, oh. actually, you know, I'm complaining. I think the Steelers, total fraudulent playoff team, by the way, but I think the Steelers are really good for this. Yep, so 94 left guard Isaac Sayamala, but I can move him to right guard where I need him. George Pickens, they actually have an insane tight end too. What I technically could do, like I could pick up Heath, Heath Miller, and then I could move Gronk back to middle linebacker, and I could rock Ray Lewis and Gronk in the middle. I'm sorry, I'm getting I'm getting a little too fancy here. We need to take the offensive lineman. Look at Isaac Sayamalo, 94 overall left guard. So I'll keep Russ Grimm at the current right guard. I'll move Sam Allo. Actually, Sam Allo should be my center. So on my offensive line right now, we've got an 89 right guard, a 92 left guard. What is Isaac Sam Allo at center? He's an 88 overall center. He's out of position. It's a little weird, but it is a huge boost to the O-line. He actually gets boosted up to an 89. Dude, these big boys, these big boys can play any position on the O-line, right? All right, that officially solidified my offensive line as actually elite. I would like to get Cam Jurgens out of there, but that's a good start. I definitely didn't need Heath Miller. I'm glad I made that choice. All right, y'all, we shored up the offensive line. Next best case scenario is getting Shelby Harris out of there. If I get Shelby Harris out of there, we got a real... Can I get 
it. Shelby Harris doesn't have another good card, does he? I don't know who's Pack-a-Punchable. I ran into this problem earlier. Always excited to get a Pack-a-Punch. I just, I think we go Aaron Donald, right? So Pack-a-Punch lets me take one player on the roster and get their best version possible. Dude, I'm about to take Aaron Donald's Pack-a-Punch and just move Aaron Donald to left end. All right, so we're going to Pack-a-Punch our 85 overall Aaron Donald into the Terminator card. Not as good as when it came out, but still a really solid card. He should be a good edge rusher. Certainly better than Shelby Harris. In all his glory, 92 overall D-tackle, Aaron Donald, the Terminator. I really don't think we need him to play D-tackle because Jalen Carter, especially with inside stuff, is already doing so much damage. He's a power rusher and he's so fast. He actually like, I know that he's technically a D-tackle, but look at these stats. 88 speed, 92 power, 92 finesse, 92 block shed. Shelby Harris, I love you, buddy. Shelby Harris, I don't give a shit if you're on this line. All right, so Aaron Donald, Terminator, comes in right there and then at D-tackle two, we'll plop down 84 overall, Shelby Harris. So he can go back to where he wants to be. And he's a 91 overall there. So that's actually really solid. Keep in mind, one final thing I want to talk about. Ray Lewis is finally matching himself. I have the 94 overall Ray Lewis because now I'm level 40. I actually have the 95. But I just want to show you like the comparison. The cover athlete limited Ray Lewis is still better by a slight margin. He's better. So I'm not going to use Ray Lewis's upgrade until I get 96 overall Ray Lewis. I think I get 96 Ray Lewis at level 50. So we're close. We're just not quite there yet. Either by the Super Bowl or maybe next season. I don't want to make any promises though, but I'm excited to try out that new ability Enforcer Supreme. All right, beautiful new upgrades today. Headed into the wild card playoff. We got Aaron Donald Terminator. And on offense, we got Isaac Sayamalo playing center. A quick rundown of the abilities, just in case you're rusty. We got mid and elite on Zay Flowers. We got matchup nightmare Jamar. We got five AP on CJ Stroud. Hot Route Master, Gunslinger, Protected, Gift Wrap. And then Identifier, John Runyon, Lynchpin, Russ Grimm, Freight Train, Tree Archer. I, I could definitely take Protected off, but I don't have anything to use those ability points on. So I'm just going to keep it as it is. That's eight on offense. Defensively, we've got Bosa, Christian Harris, Jalen Ramsey, Lawrence Taylor, Darius Slay, Malik Hooker, Devin Hester, Jalen Carter, Ray Lewis, and Jesse Bates, all with abilities. It's the All Madden playoffs, baby. Survive the playoffs. Our top three, CJ Stroud, Zay Flowers, Nick Bosa, just a bunch of people who choked the Patrick Mahomes. Doug Williams, ooh, he's got 96 Ray Lewis. Damn. Wow, are you fucking kidding me? We're playing in the sellout stadium. Am I gonna have to look at a fucking Lexus ad every single time this guy hikes the ball? That's actually crazy. All right, you guys, I've been, I've been, okay, I have an excuse for not spinning the challenge wheel. I've been in Vegas for a week. My brain does not work. I have no brain cells left. Holy shit. The challenge wheel. I'm so sorry. I'm homeless. I have a small wiener and I compensate hating women on the internet. Zero turtle. I like this one. I haven't got this one in a long time and damn it, if I'm going to do it, it better be in a Super Bowl. No, the playoff game. What are you doing? I need zero turnovers. If I can go the entire game without a turnover. Dude, you are throwing poverty balls. Third and four. You're asking to turn this thing over. Dude, I got my Dutch Bros coffee today. You know how it is, boys. Dude, tell me why every single girl that works at Dutch Bros coffee is a fucking 11 out of 10. Oh, I was so close to that with Ray Lewis, actually. Oh, I'm frustrated. First and 10, he's running no huddle throwing these passes, bro. You're just asking to get picked off. I think I'm on Christian Harris. Second and one, a whole lot of audibles. He's going to check it down to his halfback. Big hit. Need it, need it, need it, need it. Let's go for the strip. Let's go for the strip. Back to no huddle. I'm going to put Bosa on a flat so he can't do that again. I'm going to put Taylor on a flat to lurk him. He's got absolutely nothing open. Damn. That does happen though. Oh, huge hit! Bosa's got it! Let's go! <laughs> I know he's gonna turn it over. That was greedy. That was greedy. He had the yards. He did try though. You see that? He started his slide animation. He was just a little late. Tell you what, boys. It's looking just like the Super Bowl opening drive fumble. All right, here we go. First and 10. Let's see how this looks. I'm kind of looking at Dree Archer here. I sure am. It's my boy, man. You don't like Dre Archer. You don't like Wheel of Mutt. He knows what I'm doing. Let's see if it matters. Gronk with that Vanguard. Getting out on his blocks, and I get spear tackled for an extra two yards. Probably not the time. I think it's fair to say we're always in four down territory. Oh, nice check down. Sat in the pocket clean and delivered, but I still need four yards to pick this up. I am going to go for this. I don't think I go RPO here. There's no guarantee I'm going to get those yards. Played good defense there. I'm wondering if I could hit Jamar Chase quick. There he is. Dre Archer right in the middle. He's such a workhorse, bro. I love, dude, I love you, Dre Archer. Hand that off right up the middle. There you go, Dre. Great blocks. 
huge juke. I'll take eight yards on it. All right, let's give it to him again, though. Sorry, I know I said I'm not going to spam it, but let's give it to him again. Because now, now is he going to be ready for the bubble? He just vacated. Look at Gronk. Look at Vanguard Gronk throwing two pancakes. You want to just commit to the bubble? You never want to guard? Josh Allen gets a big hit on Dre Archer. I said I wasn't going to spam the RPOs, so let's get out of RPO. It's not me. Stroud's actually... What did I just get a flag? Did I just throw the ball? Oh my God, what? I didn't even think that was possible. I didn't think it was possible to click the throwaway button and get a penalty. This is not good. Although he's gonna leave Gronk, money, possession. Let's go! Huge! Oh, that was huge! Great block pickup. Six for six, 44 yards. Infinite time. There is absolutely no way. There's no way I just fucking did that! Oh, no! Oh, my God! CJ Stroud, who are you? Fucking bag. Holy shit, man. Yo, now Harrison Bunker gets to walk it out here. Dude, he could have won Super Bowl MVP. He was so clutch. 7-0 to zero on a... I would puke in my mouth if someone did that to me. I would actually vomit. All right, dude, honestly, we get him to throw an interception here. He might quit. It's a, it is. Whoa, there's a deep corner out He's got nothing! Second and 28. He's gonna go no huddle here. We know it's a pass. I'm gonna send a blitz out of Bates and Christian Harris. And this is bagged. He has absolutely nothing open. Just kidding. It's a nice play. It's a very nice play. Wow. I sent a six man and he got out of that. That was impressive. Right back to the halfback. No, he's gonna throw contested. That's just BS. That's lucky. Huge hit. Oh, he's got it on the right side. He doesn't see it. Oh, now he does. Damn, he's got good pocket presence. Gets a pretty nice block there, too. First and goal. Uh-oh. Juke is so OP. I literally, like, I sat inside and juked inside of that, and I still can't tackle it. All right, well, if he was going to score, it's good that it was with that much time because he started with the ball. If I score here with no time left, I'm up seven. Ball half. There it is. What a fucking ball. Vernon Davis! <laughs> hey, if the juke's OP for him, it's OP for me too. That was a beautiful ball. Bro, that looked like it might have almost like been lurkable. Looked like his tall ass. I think it was Too Tall Jones who dropped in the coverage. He looked like he had a shot at it. But he's getting diced up by corner outs right now. I had A if I just sat in the pocket. But guess what? I didn't just sit in the pocket. Second and 10. There he is. Ooh, that's a hard pass. What a fucking catch. Vernon Davis, bro. Backup tight end Vernon Davis. Just, you can get out of bounds. We can preserve a timeout here. Didn't use my clock perfectly, though, because I've got two timeouts, and I don't have enough time. This should end the half. It does. Woo! All right, boys. This is a really good game right now. No turnovers. Played well. I don't think he should have scored on that drive either. I think he got a little lucky. I think I could definitely stop him. Just go CJ. Got a slide. Ooh, didn't get my slide off either. Luckily, we didn't fumble. Honestly, I could light him up with a Zay Flowers corner out here. Just give me some time in this pocket, gentlemen. That's risky as fuck. I'm gonna puke. Oh, I didn't come down with it. I'm actually gonna puke. Oh, I didn't come down with that. That's so unlucky. Oh, I fucking did it to him, too. And I just had a perfect accuracy out of reach. Oh my god, it's fourth and inches. After second and inches. That was wide open. I'm going fucking yard on him. That's an arm punt since he decided to intercept that. I'm tilted now. That's my that was a stupid play on fourth and inches. I'm sure I could have thrown something better there, but the fact that he intercepted it's kind of hilarious. It's actually so beneficial for me. I think he's gonna throw short. Hmm. Third and 17! It's fine. It's going to be fourth down. Huge hit. It's a fumble. And he fucking... Definitely have a chance for a huge pickup here. Got light blues on either side. Oh. All right. That's actually a nice play. Respect. That's a nice pickup there on fourth down. Just going with the whip route. Doesn't even get it off. 
I mean, my turnover right now. Let's go, boys. Fourth and nine on the 46. Let's get to him so fast he can't breathe. Oh, I like that. Oh, no. I thought I liked that. Fourth and nine. He throws a streak touchdown. Nice play. I was impressed. I just kind of got cooked. Jalen Ramsey got cooked. All right, 14 to 10. Gotta go, gotta go get back. All right, first and 10. I'm gonna simplify this as much as humanly possible. Simple. That's such a simple read. No, but I got Dree. I love you, Dree. I just need to score quickly. I need to not think about this too much. I started thinking about this. I'm going to fuck up. Fine. Come on. Playmaker. Playmaker of a fucking lifetime. Dude, put him down on the hitch. Get in there, CD. CD on the hitch for the playmaker across the user when he's covering Driart. That makes me horny. But I got to get this ball in the fucking end zone. Too easy. Bro, you're literally not doing shit, bro, to drive down the fucking field. Bro, like, holy fuck, my nigga. You're getting bagged and running around and just throwing it to somebody, bro. Oh, MMG Legacy Drive. Come on, baby. You got fucking protected and all that shit on your fucking O-lineman, bro. You a bitch, bro. That's fluid as fuck. You know he's you know he's nervous now. Just walk that puppy down there. No close calls, no fourth downs. March. Dude, I know that I can turn him over. He is so close every possession to turning that shit over. This is a brand new formation. I think he wants an out. I think he wants a corner out. Wow, that's a sketchy ball. That's good defense. I don't even think he got positive yards there, did he? The dig. Oh, my God. Or no, I think I had underneath there. I only sent two. Get home, Ray! Let's go! I said Ray Lewis is Lawrence Taylor. Second and 24. That's exactly why I want to be in this defense. Because when I switch it up and decide to go with the blitz, he never sees it. Second and 24, huge. All right, now we're back into Tampa 2. He could hit me down the middle. Whatever, he's gonna juke inside. That's how you play the juke right there. Ooh, he misses the throw. Come on, man, I fucking need that, bro. Holy shit. Corner out. I'm on it. Bagged. You're fucking lying. That was so bagged. You're getting so unbelievably fucking bailed out. It is impossible for you to win this game. That's a good ball. He's gonna juke inside. Get home. Fourth and goal, two minute warning. You think he goes for this? We play this well enough, we end the game with a Harrison Butker field goal. But we gotta play it well enough first. When will they learn? Wow. When will they learn? Gosh, it feels like every game I could just throw a fucking press covered nuke. They straight up, they actually straight up never learn. All right, let's go. Freebie handoff here, Zay Flowers. Don't even get the first. You don't really want the first there. I have to use all three timeouts here. If I can get the first down, it's over. Regardless, we're in a, an excellent spot here, and that's, and that's what matters. Ooh. Although I don't hate it, to be honest, because we're playing such good defense, and he's getting so bailed. Yes. That's not what I wanted to do, though. All right, 42 seconds, three timeouts. He could go for two if he gets it, too. Guys, we're literally playing outside. How the fuck is it possible? I can intercept this if he throws it. Lawrence Taylor! Lawrence Taylor, no more comments! No fucking shot! You just sold the game on that! Trust your defense! game's over. These timeouts don't matter anymore. Oh! It might be Cowboys season, but he's the Ravens. We both know how to choke in the playoffs. 24 to 17 in the divisional playoff game. We're one step closer to the Super Bowl. This was insane. The game should have been over right here. This is fourth and 16. He dials up a pretty nice concept. He's got the deep corner out and then the post crosser, right? So my user takes the corner out and he takes the post. Good play. Except what happened? Honestly, Jesse Bates just got fucking bodied. I don't know how he didn't break this up though. I should be holding X right here. I should be holding X for the SWAT. So Doug Williams had a great game and then that interception there at the end and then CJ Stroud. So I don't get my challenge wheel because I did have an interception. Then on the ground, 7 for 50 with Dre Archer with the touchdown. Really solid game on him. So no challenge wheel completed means there's nothing left to do except get ready for the NFC Championship. Stroud played amazing. Everybody on this team played amazing. Everybody really had a clutch play it felt like. Um, And we stuck to it. I was starting to get really upset there. I, I started to get upset but uh we kept our composure we caught the dub that's what matters all right boys
anyways, I love you. Thanks for watching as always. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.